Hello, it's Sunny here in the Vale, back with round three of the historic popper tourney final round. I think we're in one of the finals. I don't know. I'm not sure if anyone else could theoretically go 3-0. So that means it is time to get hydrated. We are playing Kieran O'Hearn. Sometimes they play life gain, so this could be rough. Uh, they could also be on curve, and we will see how this goes. We are playing uh, Mono Red Burn. Most other players like to do uh, Red Black Burn. However, I am just a burn purist. Firm believer in the philosophy of fire. And this is a mulligan. This hand's pretty bad. I guess we can keep... This hand's still pretty bad. Let's go down to five. Okay, well this hand's better than the six at least. So we'll bottom the fiery temper and a shock. Uh, the one poor thing about this hand is we don't really have any filtering like the last hand did, but that was pretty low quality filtering. So red, black. And if we miss a land drop, we are in trouble. So now we'll just play the thermo, and then next turn we'll start uh, trying to kill it, or the turn after if they kill it. So since they killed it, we'll just play the Flame Breather. Uh, we'll call this one Simon. I think Simon was an Apostle. And say go. I should be talking a little more, but I'm a little tired. I'm not a big fan of Ghastly Gloom Hunter as a card. I mean, I guess a two mana 1 1 flyer with Life Link is basically at raid, and maybe the kicker makes it just good enough. He's representing a sack spell, unfortunately. So we'll play the, we'll attack. Play the Epicure. And now we're just gonna end turn and see what they do. Oh, nothing, wow. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And so at least we're going to try and force him to uh, sack the uh, Gloom Hunter instead of a Wellspring.
So they could make it a 3-3 three, three flyer if they get it back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oops, we probably should have done the pillar first. And we just want to save this just in case they're able to kick it next turn. And we'll shock their face at end step. So they must not have any of the... Uh, Deadly Dispute style cards in their hand. So they top decked that. I'm assuming. So now we're just seeing how many burn spells we can draw. So we can get them down to five. In theory. Yeah, they're going to just draw a lot of cards. Not sure what they're digging for. Well, that's just going to be their control finisher. So yeah, we're pretty far behind. I don't think we can play around them getting the bat back anymore. They got the draw spell, makes sense. So now we're just trying to burn them out. Five, so we can top deck a one mana burn spell, hopefully. cards in their hand though they gotta have a uh, something I assume that'll get their boy back from the graveyard and we're just not blocking with the epic air just because we might draw something unexpected So now we're just going to hold that and hopefully we top duck a burn spell. We got two chances. So now they sack a land probably. Hmm, why didn't they sack anything?
Oh, so they gained six, they gained a lot of life. That might require a change in plan. So they might be able to reckoner. They probably have a lot of reckoners bargains. So we kind of still have outs. And we probably trade with the Epicure if we let us. Just to make the clock longer. So now they'll get back uh, the sack spell that gains them life. Okay, well, the goal is let's not mulligan to five. So we're just dead, not the dead. We're just going to have to hope they misclick. So yeah, they got it. So let's not mulligan into five. Uh, blur is actually pretty good. It's not actually super great because they can always sack in response. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we just play the spear skewers instead of the epicures. And then throw back in either the omen or the impulse. Probably the omen. Actually, instead of the omen, we could just do end the festivities and say go. So this hand's pretty good. We got both our thermos, two thermos. So they brought in to rest, which is kind of whatever. And then let's get them to say go. I wonder what they took out. Well, multiple duresses are probably good. I still don't like it, though. I know Platypus doesn't think duress is very good against Burn. And looks like we get a flood. Pretty badly. So we're getting them for one. Well, at least they wasted a card.
They must have a playset of duress. Now we just need to draw some spells. So they didn't gain any life, at least. So hopefully we are through our land pocket and can start playing the game. So this will do six. So two plus three is five, plus one is six, is eight. Yeah, I just can't really. I think we gotta go face and just hope we top deck another burn spell. And then uh, hopefully we draw one of our cheaper removal spells. So lands are kind of a death trap now though. Oh, it misses. I'm sure they'll find a way to get it to hit. So yeah, now they got it to hit, I'm sure. At least they don't have another one. We hit a land, so yeah, we're probably not going to win. So, just more, we didn't draw very well either game. So we're just hoping to <sighs> Yeah, it's just frustrating that we just didn't see it. We haven't well he duressed all our sideboard cards basically. And we just gotta try and shock one of them, I think, because he's gaining two a turn and we have no gas. And we take away something for him to sack, even though that doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, so we flooded fairly badly and then mold to five game one. So we'll take one hit, and then we got to start blocking. What could they even have? Hmm. That made them make that attack.
So we got a couple outs, I guess. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. I would go to three. They're at two, three, four. So I think our best bet is to try and go face. So two, three, four, five. So we can get them down to two. They'll go back up to three. So I think we do have to go face. And hope we top deck one of our three mana spells and hope they don't have a, whatever that sack spell is called. because they're going to go up to five. We'll ping them, though. So they'll be at four. And if they have a blazing volley or whatever, I guess they got it. We couldn't really play around it. couple outs. I don't think we're going to hit, but we do. And if they kill that guy too, then we have no outs. And yeah, we just flooded. So, GG's. They got it. Kind of uh, non-games each game. I mean, I still don't know if the duresses are that great. They definitely were that game, though, but I'm not sure how uh, consistent that is. Well, thanks for watching. Sunsetting in the Veil.